Elsewhere, water crisis is looming in Kumasi as enclosures threatening the life of two major dams that supply potable water to residents. The Barakesi and Wabi dams supply about 36 million gallons daily to Kumasi and its environs. But the dams are producing under capacity due to siltation and other forms of pollution caused by sand winning, illegal tree felling, farming and new human settlements. Our main Terry has more in the following report. Private developers have encroached and built on more than half of the over 41,000 acres of land on the catchment of the Wabi Dam. Communities like New Koforidia have sprung up close to the dam's buffer. Only the forest reserved, managed by the Forestry Commission, remains untouched. The encroachers are causing the two facilities to produce below capacity. The current supply shortfall of the two dams stands at 12 million gallons of water daily. Saltation has caused the depth of the dam to reduce drastically from the initial 22.5 feet to 6.5 feet. This means an increase in the treatment caused by the Ghana Water Company. Alfred Galanku is a station manager at the Wabi Dam. Due to the activities of encroachers, they have polluted the water heavily. So this has increased our cost of what? treatment or producing the water. Originally, the depth of water was the dam. The depth is 22.5, but recently it has reduced to 6.5 feet deep. It was due to the activities of sand winning and felling of trees. About half of the forest cover has been distracted. And when it rains, plastic continues from at Afua, all are gathered here. So we have to hire laborers to clear all. We have down, middle and upper abstraction to the treatment site. But due to siltation, the down and the middle have been silted. So we are now using the upper. So in future, if the upper to is silt, there will be no water flow to the treatment site. The Forestry and the Lands Commission visited the affected areas after a meeting with the Ashanti Regional Security Council. Chief Executive of the Forestry Commission, John Aloti, says the menace should be tackled as a matter of agency. We are trying to bring all the agencies like Lands, Water Resources Commission, the ministry itself uh, led by the uh, Minister uh, Samuel Jinapo, uh, and then we will try to get uh, a strategy in place to be able to prevent further uh, encroachment and save uh, the Owabi uh, dams, right, to continuously be able to supply water to uh, the uh, Kumasi. Uh, we'll be collaborating with the Regional Security Council since they are in charge of the security of the area and uh, they are keen to uh, start acting. On the His counterpart, Executive Secretary at the Lands Commission, Suleiman Mahama, commended some chiefs in the area for helping to protect the water bodies. He called for public support to deal with the threat to the dams. At the time the land was acquired by government, the villages were very, very small. But as Kumasi continues to expand, this expansion is coming here, and then it is also attracting high land values. And because of that, it becomes very attractive for some chiefs to grant out these lands for development, and therefore they uh, encroach on these lands, and then they do it so fast. What, uh, some, but there are some good chiefs, for example, Nanan Swasi Opokwa Jiman, uh, who currently is Otu Fosa Chamehene, for example, if you go to his area, there is no encroachment at all. So it means that when the chiefs understand and it is encouraged that about 20% of the water supply to Kumasi comes from the Owabi Dam. And these activities go to salt up the dam and then also make it very expensive to do uh, to purify the water for us. Uh, at least it will save the 
uh, the Ghana Water Company and government at large from utilizing so much uh, water. Lands Commission and Forestry Commission are joining together very forcefully to push this uh, uh, agenda. So we get our other collaborating agencies together with us and then we'll have a solution to, to this problem. Without an immediate intervention to halt illegal human activities around the dams, a water crisis looms in parts of the Ashanti region. From Mansi, for Joy News, I'm Interior reporting.